this is very shallow. It's just like these steep, steep steps. The, the, it's like flat and steep. The grade right. of the steps may be shallow, but we are deep. You know, give or take. I'm deep. This is the entertainment business, people. Okay, well, let's start there. <laughs> so, as a child of the entertainment business, what do you really think of it, Leighton Meister? Leighton Meister? <laughs> Leighton Meister is nice. Um, it's Leighton Meister, but Leighton Meister works. <gasps> it's, it's probably the best interpretation of my name that I've heard. I've heard every kind of name you can imagine. <laughs> I know that with Gossip Girl ending, you have been asked the same questions over and over and over. It's okay. No, I'm not going to ask them. Okay. What haven't you been asked that you're dying to answer? I don't know. I mean, I actually have no plans, particular plans or anything. I don't really know um, what I'm going to do with my life, so that's exciting. But I think that that's the best part, is that I'm, I'm just sort of planning to spend time with my family and take a little bit of time off and travel and, you know, garden and, like, maybe go to school at some point. Do, like, life things. Life things. So did you forego college because of Gossip Girl? No, I was already foregoing it, regardless. But th it, it didn't help. It was <laughs> I must have totally blinked on the part where I invited you over. I was 20 when I started, and I'm 26 now. So that is a huge portion of my 20s that have been on the set. Now I feel like I'm very mature in many ways, which obviously has been a subject about you know this movie that I did where I'm like with a much older, more mature man. If you could lean across this table right now and kiss me, and no one would say it was wrong, and there were no rules. Would you do it? What I think is wonderful about the oranges is it doesn't necessarily lob heavy judgments at people who make alternate decisions. It explores how decisions are made. In that role, you must have done some thinking about, boy, if I fell in love with someone who was taboo, what would I do? Right, and like, how would my dad feel about it? Right. Um, <laughs> and I think that that is a big theme with this film, and I think uh, another theme is really change and how you can a family unit can deteriorate or change and a lot of the time it doesn't happen unless some catastrophic event happens right. to force it towards a better direction which I think eventually it does but it's not without a bunch of drama and craziness but it's also very funny I like how you evaded my question however <laughs> what what, was what would you do if you were in love with a taboo person oh um I don't think there would be that much judgment for my family. I think there is something to be said for having common interests, um, but I think that love has nothing to do with ultimately, like, I don't have to have the same taste in music or the same taste in movies or art or politics even as someone. I have to have the same moral compass and the same values as somebody. And a lot of the time you won't find somebody who's 26 or 27 who has that. Look, you're not gonna like this? Yeah. Ethan and I are getting married. This character was very close to who I am in many ways. Obviously, in many ways not. She's like this very rebellious, self-involved youth. Well, it's like me too. Um, I think that I just sort of got to reflect on different parts of her and different parts of me and see the similarities. I also started playing guitar and writing music during this time, and it was just like a really good time for that. Just like helped me to connect with my emotions in a different way. But you've sang with other bands before? Yeah. Do you want your music career to be the thing you're known for? Um, I don't really know, because I don't know what I want to be known for. I kind of just want to be known for doing good projects. <laughs> you can't control how who, what you're known for. But I think that I would like for people to hear my music. Because I've worked with a lot of different people and like had a record deal and now I'm kind of starting from square one and using the music that I wrote actually during the oranges. Do you feel like you're going to have to battle or do you currently battle people's impressions of what a Gossip Girl actress is? And I say that with air quotes. Yeah, no, I, I, I know. I actually saw those air quotes before you did it. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, I think that, I, and that's the thing, it's like I, I am ready to struggle for a while after I'm done with the show and just have to stay away from something that I've done. Not necessarily for anybody's perception of me or... I just want to be stimulated and excited and challenged. And, you know, that would mean doing something completely different, something that's scary and not like I've done before. So I'm ready to do that. It's interesting to hear a human being say, I want to be scared and I want to struggle. Most people say, I, I want to be safe. be safe and unafraid. Yeah, I mean, to some extent I do, but I have come to terms with the fact that there's no end because I've been acting for 15 years and if you had asked me even like 
five or six years ago what my dream would be. It would be to be like in right New here. York or in a show or, you know, doing talks too. And I'm like, obviously this is amazing and I do try to stay in the moment and be present and be grateful, but it never ends. You know, I want more, better, different. Like, I think that that's the only way I'll be satisfied. <laughs> Thank you for bringing your struggle here, because as you can hear by the tree that's being chopped down, is the it a building tree? that's being torn apart, there's a lot of struggle here for the I was the looking whole at that, I was like, wow, you were probably crazy about that when that came. Girl, you have no idea. <laughs> Listen, thank you so much. I would cheers you, but... I'm sorry, yes. Here, let's fist pump. Explosion. Oh.